Hi, I'm Tim and you're watching Mr. Tim Tech. If you've watched my previous video where I'm converting from KeyPass to KeyPass XC, having previously installed this and used it a few times, I've noticed that there's what I feel is an annoying screen that pops up every time you press your global autotype key. Here's a picture on the screen now of what appears after pressing your autotype key. It can be a bit time consuming if you've got multiple entries having to scroll through the window to find the actual entries before it will do the autotype. However, I found the solution to this in KeyPass XC itself. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So with KeyPass open on screen, as you'll see here, I've got KeyPass XC open on screen now. I've selected, for example, the first entry, which is ACDC website. Now what I'm doing is clicking on the URL and this has now opened the ACDC website. Now what I would normally do is click on my account and then click in the email box and then I would press the global autotype key. Then as you will see on screen, we have the autotype KeyPass XC window appearing where you have to scroll down and find the entry before it will do the autotype. So in order to fix this, what you need to do is cancel the autotype window and then bring KeyPass back up on screen and then right click on the entry to which you're opening the website for or which are opening the link for at the moment, click on edit entry. Then from the edit entry window, click on auto type and then under the window associations box, click the plus symbol button. This will then add an empty windows association as you will see on screen now. And then move across to window title and then with the arrow under the window title box, click this and select the website to which you want to log into. In this case, it's ACDLD Sign In Brave. Once you have done this, click OK. Then, if you go back to the sign in screen on the website, now if you press your global autotype key, as you normally would, you will see that it's now typed in the email address and password without the global autotype window appearing on screen. So that's how you fix the issue with the global autotype window appearing every time you want to copy and paste your email and password. However, there is one slight issue with this is if you have multiple entries for the same website, for example, more than one Google account, and you have two Google entries in your KeyPass XC database, this window will still appear on screen because it doesn't actually know which account you want to actually use the autotype function with. So you'd still have to click in the autotype window that appears to which entry you want to log in to. However, this solves most of the issues with most entries and I hope you found this useful and hopefully it will save you time as it has done me. Obviously there's a bit of time involved in going through each of your database entries in KeyPass XC to actually set this up but once it's set up it should be uh, better and save you time. Just remember though, if you don't have auto save on your database enabled, make sure you save the database after you've updated each entry. So click save database. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and more videos are coming soon. Bye for now.